As an agribusiness officer with FAO, my mission is to drive impactful investments across the food systems landscape. We are very happy to announce that the course entitled Raising Awareness on the Responsible Use of Antibiotics in Livestock is now available online on the uh, FAO eLearning Academy. The idea of this course emerged from our collaboration with the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development uh, and its creation is a testament of a power of partnership that was more than just a project team initiative. It was a collective effort that brought together diverse expertise around the house and resources showcasing the impact we can achieve when we work together towards a common goal. And when I say we, I mean uh, FAO Investment Center, but also animal health officers at HQ and in our regional office in Budapest, One Health officers, Food System and Food Safety Division colleagues, colleagues from Environment Division, and of course FAO eLearning Academy. And this team deserves a special gratitude because it's really amazing, not only because this uh, group of uh, highly professional designers, uh, content developers, and communication specialists, they manage the course development process in a way to meet the target. They factor your workload, your travel plans to facilitate as much as possible the process and get there in time. The course is designed specifically for farmers, uh, particularly in the Central Asia and the Caucasus region, where many are small-scale producers lacking access to essential knowledge and skills. Um, in such setting, providing free, impartial, science-based information that can reach any rural area, including the most remote ones, is crucial. The supply of raw materials like milk or uh, animals uh, often depends on these farmers. Um, these farmers may uh, often uh, not have formal training in areas like food safety, animal health or disease prevention. Unfortunately, many of them rely on incorrect practices or misconceptions uh, when dealing with livestock. So the course directly addresses a pressing issue of antimicrobial resistance, which is a growing global concern. By educating farmers on the responsible use of antibiotics, we aim to re reduce the risk of IMR, ensuring that small-scale farmers can continue producing safe and high-quality products. Moreover, the course promotes inclusive growth by helping small farms meet food safety standards. This enables them to remain competitive uh, in the market, contributing to a stronger domestic supply chain. By empowering farmers uh, with free, accessible, impartial and science-backed knowledge, we can help them grow professionally, improve the safety and quality of their products, and of course attract investments and make the national industry more competitive overall. We are currently translating the course into languages spoken in Central Asia to make it accessible to local farmers. Uh, we are partnering with the dairy industry associations in the region who will play a key role in distributing the course to their members, milk processing companies. These companies, in turn, will encourage their uh, supplying farmers to complete the course and earn a badge as proof of their knowledge. Given that an average dairy company in Kyrgyzstan or in Kazakhstan sources fresh milk from hundreds, in some cases even thousands, small farms, the potential outreach of this initiative is absolutely substantial. We believe that this engagement with the private sector will increase awareness on the responsible use of antibiotics, benefiting also farmers and the industry and the human health and animal health and the environment.